The anatomy of your spine is designed to be incredibly strong and flexible, but it is often a source of back pain. No matter the condition you have, PPOA has answers. The Physician Partners of America knows that pain robs your life of joy, and they want to help. Joining us now with more is the Director of Spine Division, Dr. James St. Louis. Nice Thank to have you. you here, Dr. St. Louis. Tell us a little bit about your background. My background is I'm an orthopedic surgeon who's trained in doing spine, and I did special training on my own for using a laser on the spine. Why should people consider PPOA? Well, PPOA is a very interesting practice. There's approximately 25 clinics throughout the United States, and there's, it's interventional pain management where there's, it isn't just spine surgery, so we can also do other things before you have surgery or after you have surgery that can also treat your pain, such as injections and certain spinal cord stimulators and different devices that are important. What is often the most common cause of people's back pain? Usually, the average age, there are all ages, but the average age is usually like probably 55 to 65, and people's spines wear out where the disc part kind of shrinks down. It loses its water. The discs actually have little um, amounts of water in them. And as this disc mm -hmm. degenerates, mm -hmm. As this, imagine this part collapsing, this goes down, and in the back where the nerves come out, all the nerves go through the tunnel. It's like the roof of a tunnel coming down on top of the nerve. Ouch. So is there anything we can do to prevent that, or is this just something that happens because of age? No, there's, I mean, there's, well, the aging process may take over with that, but once it has set in and you have the issues, there's different ways of treating it through surgery, therapy, and injections. Mm. And when it comes to actually needing surgery, all your nerves go through this little tunnel. And as I was saying before, as it collapses down, um, it closes the roof of the tunnel. So the theory is just to open up the top of the tunnel to give the nerve and the spinal cord more room to move. Well, let's talk a little bit about the advantage of having a minimally invasive sure. procedure rather than an open back procedure. Okay. So why, why is that? Well, I, I can imagine the recovery is probably a lot better and yes, easier. What else? That's correct. Um, when I first started training, when, when we all did open spine surgery, you would have an incision it just depends anywhere from two to six inches or bigger and you would have to strip the muscles off the bone mm. right here to get to the spine so the minimally invasive we can go down with a series of dilating tubes where we go right on top of the uh, nerve or the area in the spine or the disc and we can put a small camera usually in a 16 18 or 20 millimeter tube and you can operate off a tv set and that's how we do it the advantages are you it's it can be outpatient surgery you go home the same day presuming you're mm -hmm. a healthy individual and you can start your therapy that next day you know we encourage everybody to walk and do light stretching exercises so it's really life-changing and I'm sure it keeps a lot of people from getting addicted to opioids as well because when you relieve the pain then you can get off the pills yes. right and that's an issue yes yeah for sure okay for more information go to physician partnersofamerica.com or call 855-208-PAIN. Dr. St. Louis, thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll be right back.